The final weapon in the weapon pack 4 has now also been revealed and it is going to be an M1 Garand. And yes, it does have the cling sound to it. So the entire weapon pack is going to consist of a 50 cab lock muscle loader. It's going to be a 10 gauge shotgun and an M1 Garand. And we're going to be taking a look at all of them in this in this recap of actually a really enjoyable stream from TK's home as the EW employees are working from home. And also, release date 26th of March. And price of the weapon pack 4 is gonna be 399 And I don't need... How many shots have we got? Oh, it's... Oh. I think that's gonna be my new ringtone. Pating! Look at this. Sorry. This might be one of my favorite guns in computer game in history, I think. Um, I don't know if we hit that deer. That wasn't really the point, was it? It's more of a... Uh, I was just trying to, you know, empty, empty... Oh, we hit that one. You guys asked for semi-automatic. We gave you a semi-automatic. We've given you a 50 cal now as well. What more do you guys want? Huh? Let's have a look at the different uh, variations, as, as, as you guys may or may not know now. Uh, so there's this beautiful, like a red stock one. Um, now, I love these variations because they're kind of subtle and really nice too. This is my favorite. This is the one that I'm using today. So the veteran, I just love the... I guess the worn wood look and stuff like that. Um, it is absolutely stunning, right? So it uses the 3006 ammunition, ladies and gentlemen. So it's exactly the same as the 3006. It's just semi automatic. So it's a pretty good mid range uh, rifle for the semi automatic. March the 26th, ladies and gentlemen. So can you use scopes? You can. Uh, so I'm, I'm guessing it just takes all the normal rifle scopes. Um, but as you saw, and I'm guessing the game de uh, designers have done this for a bit of balance, this thing kicks like a bit of a mule. Um, so, you know, and obviously that's kind of done on purpose, so... Honestly, this new M1 might be a contender that is gonna battle my loved 30 odd 6 but we are also getting a muscle loader, and this is what TK is just about to fire at this moose with the mini ball. beautiful i need to i need to fire that not scope let's get this i haven't seen this either yet like i love these guns in classic and uh part of the re wait oh yeah it's the right one part of the reload animation is oh there we go this is down to my favorite thing ever so i don't know what it is it's just like this is a relaxing gun to use and it's fun right like it's not high performance because it's not fast firing but they're extremely hilarious guns to use. Look. I don't know if we can... Like, literally, this is the first time I'm seeing this, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we can, like... It's probably too late now. Turn the smoke intensity up a little bit. Like, I've used some in uh, Norway, actually, and you just can't see anything. Turkeys are coming some stage this year. So there we go. When's it going to be released? 26th of March, ladies and gentlemen. Have another one. Beautiful. Oh, wait. I think it isn't it blasphemy to reload it without hearing the ping. I think I just broke the uh, the, garand, the rule of using the ground, actually. It's no reloading. That's a nice one. What are we looking at here? About that? Yeah. Oh, he's 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 a gone burger. Where did I hit that one? That one's this gun. Smokes. I don't know. I maybe, and I'm put. Maybe this we're going top shelf on this, but potentially. Hey, that was good. I like this. That was with the uh, the smoke pole, ladies and gentlemen. The Hoodzik 50 cal. We got a 50 cal in game, guys. Remember that. 
Oh my god, did I reload again? You know what? I'm sorry. Ready? And as we're just about to see here, it does seem that they are working on a fix on the black tails. Because as it is currently, I have not seen a single one on the live service make diamond. It's the same with the elk and the ibex. I do not believe that it is intended that this should have made diamond. It is 85 kilos. It is quite small. And it is hitting the diamond trophy rating of 209. And I of course hope they are going to fine tune this just a little bit more. And the last weapon in the weapon pack is a 10 gauge shotgun that we actually did not get to hear on last week's EW stream because of some sound issues. But fortunately TK did bring it with him and he used it for self defense on this nice little grizzly bear of Yukon. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Oh! Holy... So, um, was that, was that a good, oh, I can't, uh, I went to free look at it. Can I, can we say that was a good test? What was it? Five, five, five point, four, eight, two point one, <laughs> two point eight one meters. Oh, that was a little bit too close for, uh, comfort, that one. Please don't make me do this, Mr. Wolf. Oh. I know that was three shots, but... Oh, I think we might have some more coming in. Oh, here we go. Huh? Oh, there's a legendary one! Oh, dear. That should be enough. Gold, I told you I got. Would you get memed? Son of a. Son of a truck. What? Oh. Right here, we're just gonna have a quick recap by TK of this weapon pack, which I'm looking forward to getting myself. So, the first one I think on here is the muzzle loader. So, three variations of the, the muzzle loader the Luna, the Soul, and the Terra. And of course, that's 50 cal. That one, ladies and gentlemen. So here are the three variations of the Ivanik. Ivanik. Oh my gosh. Greg, I'm so sorry. And I, we've, we've been over this before too. I really like this worn, worn one. It's got like, it's seen some, it's seen some things, all right? This one's quite nice too. I think they probably will all grow on me eventually. And then the third uh, one in the pack is the new uh, shotgun. Where is it? Here it is. So I think there's three variations of this as well. The deputy, the rancher, and the sheriff. So um, it's pretty cool. I really like it. An absolute beast of a shotgun. Um, famous for uh, some of the Terminator movies and stuff like that too. So, uh, What ammo does the M1 use? Good question. So the, the ammo for the, um, blah, 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 the M1 is the 3006. So if we go, and like, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of caught me out before because, you know, you guys know I'm not the fastest... Uh, fastest runner on the field sometimes wait i'm so slow anyway so it doesn't say it in the description i think we do believe we're going to change that but if you click compatible items if you're ever wondering it comes up exactly uh with what you can use here including the scopes you can use for it you can put the right of the uh, night vision scope on it that'll be cool and yeah so it's the 3006 polymer tip and the uh, soft point as well so it's exactly the same as the bold action rifle it's just that it is uh semi-automatic so there we are this is the highest penetrating one. I think it goes to eight, isn't it? Um, with the moose, it's just, it's just that it doesn't it doesn't really have the same uh, punch uh, as the uh, the bigger guns these days. So it just it's not high tech uh, machinery. The the muzzle loader. But that was everything worth showing from this stream. I gotta give TK credit for pulling off quite an amazing stream. You can actually go and follow him on Twitch. 
personally as well twitch.tv forward slash tree kiwi he is an awesome guy to watch but what do i think of this weapon pack i must say the m1 definitely does do a lot for me it does look to be a contender to the 30 on 6 which is the king of the mid range by no i mean yeah you could take the 7mm but as most of you know that I like to have additional shots in the magazine and this one just gives me the ad opportunity as well as the 30 odd 6 and it has pretty much the same power. Has a little more recoil, think I'm gonna get used to that but definitely gonna get that. The muscle load, I've wanted one of those in the game for a long time, that looks so much fun. The 10 gauge, not sure I'm gonna be using it a whole lot, I'm not a big shotgun hunter but it is the only gun in this weapon pack you can actually take down the uh, category 9 animals with so um maybe uh, definitely a worth i yes i think this is definitely a weapon pack worth getting but um even with the m1 garand only in it having that ding whenever uh, you emptied the the clip does just do something special doesn't it but that is everything that i want to touchdown on this one bug fixes and such should be introduced as well i hope they're gonna do something with the black tail because i'm pretty sure 85 kilo black tail should not be a diamond but uh, all in all looking forward to it this is what the game needs because it is kind of if eh, kind of little stalling at the moment so uh, hopefully 26 of march 399 dollars or euros depending on where you live and we're gonna have a ton of fun with muscle loaders shotguns and m1 garands Thank you so very much for watching.